Mr. Ten Dollar Man, let me tell you where you've been. Drink your green liquor, Lord, and you'll roll to the ground. Won't you come around here with your money in your hand? Taste of my woman. I where you stand Snake Mountain's gonna crumble Lord and fall from the sky For that woman of mine Stops telling her lies I die Lord She'd weep She'd weep and she'd mourn his eyes buried she forget I've been born My daddy lord he rides on a long holy train First winds of winter I see him again It's farewell to this yellow headed misery I've known Snake Mountain's calling, calling me home. Snake Mountain Blues, they got me down low. I could die in the morning, ain't no one would know. I wouldn't come around, my body should find. Go down to Dundee, have her time. Snake man blues, they got me down low. I could die in the morning, ain't no one would know. A woman come around, my body should find. Go down to Dundee, every time. I always find it very difficult to keep up a proper conversation after listening to songs like this. Well, they come from uh, such different places. Some come from up above, some come from down below, some come from sideways, some come from inside out. I think that anybody can write uh, songs The thing is that you have to be prepared to uh, you have to be ready to hear a song when it arrives and it can come from wherever and if you're ready and geared and want to do that you're you know geared for it you hear it Bow. you know carpenters and uh, Mechanics and bartenders and uh, congressmen and whoever else. Songs hit them all the time, but they're not prepared to hear that. And if you decide to become a songwriter, you know, folk singer, songwriter, any kind of songwriter, you get prepared for that. And when one comes along, bow, there it is. How do you live with that knowledge or 
that that you got the reputation being the saddest songwriter? Well, uh, you know, Sabine, I don't listen much to reputations. If I was to listen to all my reputations, I'd be in some deep, deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many anecdotes about you living in Colorado in the mountains or you earning your money with gambling or yeah writing songs which yeah while you're asleep or on med heavy medication well, which is the, like the <laughs> <laughs> well I did write a song on uh, when I was asleep and it turned out to be a good song and he's on medication is usually just an excuse that my road manager uses to get me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm really not on medication. But. What do you think was the most intense time or the most challenging or hardest time in your life? I can't think of an easy one. You think life is hard and not sweet? Oh, well, it's hard and sweet, like, you know, rock candy. Um, can we hear another song? Maybe I can uh, make a wish. If I know it. Um, maybe. <laughs> Thank John the Gambler. I'm not sure I remember it. Yes, Thank how many songs? Maybe I do. How many songs have you written altogether? All about 150 or 60. Something mm. like that. <laughs> Mother, said, Mother, I know that you grieve. I've given my soul to St. John the Gambler. Tomorrow it comes time to leave. The hills cannot hold back my sorrow forever. Darkness hides deep around the door. The only salvation is mine for the asking Oh mother, I'll see you no more Winter held high around the mountain's breast In the cold of a thousand snows Lay deep upon the forest leaf But she dressed in calico Our gambler likes his women fancy Fancy she would be And the fire of her longing Would keep away the cold And her dress was a sight to see On a mountain's breast, she followed her frozen breath in search of a certain St. John the Gambler and stumbling to her death. She heard his laughter right down from the mountains. Dance with her mother's tears Through a funeral drone of calico And across a twenty years A funeral drone of calico Neath a cross of twenty years Such a wonderful song. Thanks, Sabina, for asking me to play it. It's nice to uh, to uh, know that I remember it. I almost do. I missed a couple of words, I think, but I'm good at making them up. How long haven't you been playing it? 
Uh, I guess about uh, five years or so. So how do you choose which songs you play on gigs? Like the cho the choice between 160 songs is probably not the easiest. Well, I usually know which one is first, you know, and that then I just pretty much go from there. And it the uh, set kind of handles itself. And there's a bunch of, uh, you know, kind of regulars, you know, I do the first one, and it's gotten down to, uh, on this tour, it's been Loretta or uh, two girls, sometimes all these different songs. But once I'm up there and uh, the lights and the audience and do one song, then boom, I, the next one uh, comes along no matter what. I always thought it was very tacky to put a list on your guitar, put paper on your guitar. I never liked that. Mm -hmm. you, know? um, you told me about razor blade sets once. It is a razor <laughs> blade set. That's, uh, that's kind of a joke. But I have certain songs that are, you know, so sad that you can't play them all in a row. Like St. John the Gambler? Because some, well, you could fit that in amongst them. There were ones that are worse than that. Nothing. I have one worse than that. I thought nothing was going to be the saddest. And I, I didn't really come up with it, I don't think. I think it came up with me. And it's terrible. I mean, if you take it serious, you're, you know, that's why I sometimes, you know, over here, it's nice because uh, I don't hardly talk. And I, I don't talk very much anyway. But uh, over here, you know, I speak English and y'all speak, you know, Deutsch. And I, so I feel silly talking but I try to break it up sometimes if I was to play all my sad songs right in a row and somebody was out there taking it seriously they'd be you know I don't know but I try my job is to uh, try to play a uh, good guitar and uh Folks have a good time. Well, you know. I saw people crying on your gigs. Yeah, I try not to make them. But I think they even enjoyed that, actually. Well, but enough's enough. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so which one is the worst song you ever written? Which like is even it? more desperate than nothing. Yes. Shall we take the risk? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where. It... What is it called? A song for, a song for. Mm -hmm. Ribbons of love, please keep me true singing until I reach home on the morrow. Never, never to wander again I'm weak and I'm weary of sorrow London to Dublin to Australia to Perth I gaze at your skies and I've tasted your earth Sung out my heart for what it was worth Never again will I ramble There's nowhere left in this world for to go My arms and my legs, they're a trap Both clouded and blue as the sky. 
try Not even worth the remembering And as I stumble and reel to my bed All that I've done and all that I've said Means nothing to me I'd soon as be dead all of this world be forgotten No words of comfort No words of advice Nothing to offer a stranger Gone the love and gone the spirit just doesn't matter no longer My sky's getting far And the ground's getting close Myself going crazy The way that it does I lie on my pillow And sleep if I must too late to wish I'd been stronger Lost too late to wish I'd been stronger What can I say? Beautiful It's beautiful in a way in its own way It's a song f for somebody. I'm not sure who. I don't think it's for me because uh, it's <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure where it came from. Let me play you one more song, okay? Mm -hmm. You'll like this one. This is for my daughter. about a hundred and eighty degrees from that last one. <laughs> well, there's no deeper blue in the ocean that lies as deep as the blue your laughing eyes No sweeter sound than your gentle sigh No heart was ever so pure So dream pretty dreams Touch beautiful things Let all of the skies surround you Swim with the swans and believe upon some beautiful dawn love will find you in the microphone that's you know the most fun and uh, 
you know, meeting people and seeing friends like you. I'm, you know, I don't know if I should propose over the air or not, you know. <laughs> but anyway, it's great. Killian's doing good. And it's so nice to see all of them. But Val, we're gone tomorrow. You know, we'll be elsewhere. And the day after that, boom, we're elsewhere. You still thinking about it, are you? I do. <laughs> it's funny, Sabina. You get home and, boy, you wake up. Where's my guitar? Where's the suitcase? Where are we going? And I realize I'm in my own room. And the only thing to do is feed the dog and feed the birds. That's it. And nothing to do for three weeks. Time's running. Um, Time always runs. Yes. And it was an extreme pleasure to have you here on my show. Thank you for coming. And can we maybe have a farewell song? Or already packing up? I hope that It was uh, as much pleasure for you as it was for me. Thank you very much. Well, I've always thought this was a real <clears throat> pretty song. It's called the Catfish Song. And uh, I wrote it sitting down by a river and I thought it was Liked it. It's a nice song. Sounds okay, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
angel of springtime He rides on the south wind The angel of summer He does just the same The angel of autumn She's blue and she's golden And the angel of winter Won't remember your name Down at the bottom of that dirty old river Down where the reeds and the catfish play There lies a dream as soft as the water There lies a bluebird that's flown away There lies a bluebird that's flown away Thank you very much. My pleasure, Sabina. <laughs>